Hi, it's Luce, part 18 of 30, the pros and cons of working for yourself. Let's explore. So I've made a little list because there are some great things and there are some other things that you will need to think about that are different if you are employed. So first off, massive tip here. I love doing the thing that I do. Um, if you're working for yourself and you've chosen this to pursue a passion and you've put things in place, I think I talked around boundaries the other day, knowing your product, knowing your niche, so that it's still a passion for you and that you enjoy it. Best feeling, love, love doing the thing that I do. I've talked also around cultivating creativity. So the things that I do that enable me to come to work in the best possible place are yoga, swimming, going to the gym, spending time with inspiring people. All of that is just a really beautiful way of life living anyway, but it sort of fulfills a beautiful circle of purpose, if you like. I get to choose the hours that I work. Um, I can wear what I like to work. You know, um, I'm a jeans and hoodie kind of girl. The rewards for doing the thing that I do. I, maybe I've said before, you know, people I've not met hug me with gratitude for the thing that I've done. Oh, it's the best feeling. It's wonderful. Um, there really is a, yeah, a beautiful circle of enjoyment, fulfillment, inspiration and joy. That was what I set out if you'd watched part one you know, what I was seeking in life. On the flip side then, let's have a little look. So the cakes I make generally are for birthdays and parties and celebrations, which tend to happen back end of the week. Um, so at the weekend, when my friends that have gone nine to five, Monday to Friday, they're ready to go out and I'm like, oh, I've got cakes. So that's something to manage. I know if I have a big party, I've said before, I need to be in the best possible place. I certainly can't come to work with a hangover. Absolutely just will not, would not, could not. Um, so something to bear in mind. In fact, this made me laugh. Um, I had cake for a bank holiday and my friend was like, oh, but it's a bank holiday. We're all going out. I'm like, I don't work for a bank. <laughs> Every day for me is kind of like ah, perfect day. But it is something to think about, you know, um, if it's just you and it is just me, a couple of years ago, oh, I started getting pain in my side um, and I'd made cakes and this pain was getting worse. I think it started on the Friday. I delivered cakes on Saturday. I'd had another couple to do and then I was out with friends and I was sat um, at dinner thinking, oh, I don't feel good. Anyway, I went home early Next morning, my mum came out with me on Sunday to help deliver cakes because I actually couldn't really walk by this point. Um, and then I'm looking on the internet, you know, Google diagnosis. And I said to my husband, oh, I've got the symptoms of appendicitis. I don't think it's that. Um, maybe we should check it out. But hang on, I've got cakes to do. I'll just get them in the oven. So I baked these cakes went up to the hospital and I think I got up there about five and by nine I was in surgery. The uh, the surgeon came down and went, why the bloody hell did you wait? So I quickly, in my gown, practically being wheeled down to theatre, was messaging my customers going, I'm really sorry, I can't make your cakes, I'm in hospital. What can you do? Now, most people that have come back said, look, it's fine. And by this point, I hadn't even read the messages back because I literally was just, I was anaesthetized. I can't speak sometimes. Uh, I was under and out for the count. And But after that, you know, there was time for healing. So when I couldn't work, if you get sick, I mean, this was quite drastic, unexpected, but isn't it always? Um, so yeah, I couldn't work. Something to think about. What else did I have on my list? Oh, yes. The job I had, marketing, was just one job. Working for yourself, you will need to wear many hats. I've probably said this before, I'm not great with numbers. I just don't enjoy it. But accounts and all of that is necessary. You will have to wear multiple hats and how you manage that is 
there's a, an, a level of discipline then, if you like, because um, it has to be done. Um, I don't enjoy it. I've had to learn to do it. I had to build a website. I didn't have money to pay an agency to do it. I, I had to learn. It doesn't come naturally at all. Um, but I did it and I learned something. Great. What else did I have? Ah, we talked about this the other day, the imposter syndrome or what to do when you're stuck. When it's just you, I've had to, I've had to learn what makes me tick in order that I can, the personal development, if you're thinking of starting a business, maybe I've said before, the businessy bit actually for me was the easy bit. The personal growth was unexpected, did not see that coming. But in order to have a successful and long, happy, joyful business, it's something I believe that, yeah, you'll, you'll find you'll have to explore. Um, you need to motivate yourself. I'd read very early on um, about getting up in the morning. So I've been used to nine to five, get up, walk the dog, go, go for a walk, yoga, the things that I was doing because I had to be somewhere. Now, in this scenario, my hours are fluid. I said before, it's flexible, it's great. I didn't really have to get up, didn't have to get dressed. Could be a very slippery slope, um, according to Jordan Peterson. And so I just decided, you know, save myself the energy in for all the reasons why not to. It's like, just get up. That was the thing, you know, if you have to do, you have to find your own motivation. Um, so there aren't that many cons. In fact, most of the things that you might say are an irk rather than a perk, there's a silver lining on those. I've learned things. I've learned things that I can now do that I couldn't before. What were we talking about? What does growth look like to you? I'm growing in all sorts of different ways. So the irks, less of an irk. But the perks, this circle of doing the things I love in order to do the other thing that I love, every day is a holiday. It's just, yeah. So that's, <laughs> I'm having a moment today of just like, well, but that's the perks and X, something to think about. Yes, all bright and shiny, other things that you will need to consider, whatever your product, service, um, whatever your business is, you will have to do things that you might not choose otherwise to do. Anyway, that's it for today, my loves. I'll see you tomorrow.